Hello everyone, today we are back for the third and final part of this Spider-Man tutorial series where I show you how to make an animation just like this one. So, we already covered how to make the Spider-Man suit in part 1, part 2 was about animation, and in this part we'll be seeing uh, how to set up the scene and render it. So, let's get started! So that's basically where we took off our Spider-Man animated already. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plan the shot. So basically what I want is uh, Spider-Man doing that on the rooftop, probably around midday or afternoon. And so for that, I've got to first add the rooftop. So I'm gonna click here and add a plane, just like so. Scale it up. And so, yeah, so Spider-Man's entirely in the shot, perfect. And then add a cube, which is gonna be uh, the edge of the rooftop. So let me move that over here. Okay, scale that on the X axis, yeah, like this. And yeah, we've got ourselves the basic rooftop. So now I'm gonna start adding the camera like so get in the view okay but now since i like making uh, cinematic shots i'm going to change in the settings here from uh, 180 to 810 see and that way i get this white shot type so i'm gonna zoom in with the camera just like so yeah that should be enough Now that I've got this basic camera animation, I'm gonna add some uh, shake, camera shake. So for that, you just go into graph editor, go here, click on X rotation, then bring up this little thing. I'm gonna bring it like this. Go to modifiers, add noise. And basically this adds shakiness, but here it's a little too much. So to fix this, you just wanna go here and hit 20. Now it's much slower, and now I'm just gonna go in the strength and put something like 0 0.05. Let's see how this goes. Maybe turn off the mesh view. Yeah, that seems fine. Maybe 0.1. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that seems good to me. So now that I've got this, just copy this and put that information into the Z axis and just make sure to add offset. Okay, that looks fine too. And maybe the lens is a bit too close. So what you can do is just lower the, the focus range. I'm gonna put in, yeah, 35 millimeter. Yeah, that looks good. So for that, we already textured our lovely suit. And that's why uh, I got already textures from texturehaven.com. Go get yourself any textures, but here I'll be using the white plaster. So to put it, I just go on to shader editor, add a new texture and the same technique as I used in one of my videos where I just go here, downloads, rough plaster brick just like so and now i should get my textures and boom see we already have this amazing looking texture but then if you go in the camera you know it's a bit too big so i'm just gonna add a value node that i'm gonna plug into the scale and then just kill it up. Now it, it looks way smaller and more realistic. Yeah, that should do it. See, we've got nice texture here. And we're just gonna do the same for the for the edge. New. And instead of making a new texture, you can just hit here 
and grab the texture you just made yeah that one then you might have this issue uh the uv issue so for that just go into uv editing okay and now that we've got this i'm just going to go on here select the faces which i can see which are these and basically i'm just gonna go like this so let's see how this turned out oh yeah that, that looks much better i don't know if you can see and you do the same thing with this other face just hit G and boom, move it like this. And now when you go in, on to layout, fixed, we've got our texture properly, you know, added. So then you go back to your timeline, like so. See, we've got this rooftop and we are gonna add some buildings in the background. So for that, I just go on to Google and I'm gonna look for buildings buildings png and i'll just grab this first picture so once you downloaded your image to import it you're going to go to add image images as planes so if you don't have that you just go on to the edit here preference preferences and here in the add-ons you put import images as um planes and you just click it. So anyways, let's bring our city tex texture, just like so. And now you can see this tiny city, which I'm gonna bring way back. Yeah, that should be enough. And then just scale it up like so. So I'm just gonna put this right here, like it's like distant. See, that way it's like right there. Yeah, perfect. That way we get the city in the background. Now that we've got this, we're gonna add an HDRI. So once again, you just have to go on internet, hit HDRI having. So now once you download one that you like, just go on to shader editor and here, change it to world. Then add an environment texture. Oops. Environment texture. Plug it into the color. And then just drag your image. Open image. Okay. So now if we just go here and click scene world, we should be able to see, yeah, the HDRI. So now I'm gonna to try to direct the sun from it coming like from the buildings. So how do I do that? Just click on the environment texture, hit control T and boom. Now I can just rotate the entire world scene and see just pointed just like this. You know, there's the sun right there. Okay, perfect. Now that I've got this, let me go to my timeline. Here we get this nice little scene. So uh, now we're just gonna go here, cycles. I'm okay, and switch this to 32 for now and render our first image. We're like so, so render image. And let's see what we get. And that looks pretty cool. But the first thing I'm gonna do is maybe add a bit of blur. So for that, very simple, just go here and I'm going to go ahead, add a UV sphere. Oh no, I'm going to add an empty, yeah, that's what, and a sphere. So it's right here. Just bring it towards Spider-Man like so. And now we can just play with it. So, okay, Spider-Man's right there. So we're just gonna keyframe it with Spider-Man. And what we can do is just go onto the textures. Then once it's done loading, you're just gonna want and go click 
camera, go here and add depth of field, click on the empty, and see, now we've got our Spider-Man in the shot. Now that we've got this, you want to go into your compositing tab, click use nodes, unzoom it like so, okay? And you're going to add a viewer, oops, viewer, this one, plug image into the viewer. Now we can see what we just rendered and add a glare node. Oh, an image here. And this is just going to add blur, but we don't want this weird things. So just change it to fog glow and that looks just fabulous. Once you got this, you can always, you know, turn the, the strength of it a bit down. I'm just going to go with, yeah, seven. It's a bit too much. So just hit high here. Yeah, that looks about right. And now you just want to add a lens distortion node and that's just going to add chromatic displacement. So in this dispersion, you're going to add point, I don't know, 05. See, and that adds this extra stuff, maybe point 02. Yeah, that looks perfect. So yeah, now that this looks good, it's time for the render. So what are my settings? Well, first of all, you want to put back 128 or 64. I'm just going to go with 64. Click adaptive sampling. And in the denoising tab, you want to hit open denoise for renders, then hit motion blur. So that's about all for cycles. Then you're going to go here where it says PNG, select FFmpeg video. Then in encoding, you want to pick a quick time or whatever you you'd like. I'm going to go with MPEG-4. This on H264, the quality you want, high quality, and the encoding speed, real time. Then just select where you want to save your video. So it'll just be on my desktop. I'm going to name it Spider-Man tutorial accept and then well you just have to hit render animation and this is what you get i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial series if you did well subscribe and leave a like and please put in the comments if you want me to do more series like this on spider-man or other tv shows and films well, since then, see ya.